My name is Tom Lynch and I'm here at uh, the National Funeral Directors Convention in Austin, Texas. I'm here uh, for the purpose of launching a book. Uh, it's a collaboration with Dr. Thomas Long uh, called uh, The Good Funeral, published by Westminster John Knox Press. And um, we're launching the book here, signing books here. and. Um, one of the target audiences for this book were professionals in funeral service and uh, uh, in reverend clergy and hospice workers, people who are sort of first responders to a death in the family. And uh, it's been our thought, both Dr. Long and I, that um, the culture at large uh, took a turn in the wrong direction some years ago when um, you know, they sort of declared a jihad on the cookie cutter funeral and got into uh, these sort of monogrammed, one off, highly personalized funerals because um, uh, one of the things that we seem to have missed is the essential qualities, and we've gotten sort of over focused on the accessories. So that we have, for example, we go to a lot of commemorative events. Uh, to which everyone is invited but the corpse. We see that as problematical, that uh, a good funeral is one in which by getting the dead where they need to go, the living get where they need to be. So the dead are not sort of incidental to a funeral. The dead are sort of the reason we have funerals. And the corpse, to the extent that it represents what's happened, mm -hmm. um, and it is the problem that we're trying to deal with, mm -hmm. uh, has to be dealt with and should be central to whatever goes on at a, at a funeral. So. so those families that want to do direct cremation and will do a memorial service later are doing themselves a disservice? Well, what we're suggesting is that maybe those families, if those families want to have a direct cremation, they should come with us to the crematory mm -hmm. because that is the good funeral. Mm -hmm. The living getting the dead where they need to go. Mm -hmm. And we, we're trying to address the sort of cultural impulse to treat cremation not as an alternative to burial, but as an alternative to bother. Mm. We think the bother is part of the sort of human contract that the living take care of the dead. And um, because the living need to be disposed of, or excuse me, the dead need <laughs> to be disposed of not for the sake of the dead, but for the sake of the living. Okay. So. Um, we're not opposed to cremation. It's an ancient, honorable, very efficient and effective way of disposing of our dead. And the metaphors and symbols that surround fire are every bit as powerful and full of grace as open ground. So cremation is fine, um, uh, but if you're going to cremate your dead, go to the edge of the fire in much the same way as if you're going to bury your dead, we're encouraged to go to the edge of the open ground. Very good. And where can people find The Good Funeral? The Good Funeral is available in bookstores. It's available in all the online uh, uh, vendors. And um, it's available at a considerable discount from the publisher if you buy more than 20 of them uh, because they want it to be used as a resource and teaching instrument for seminarians, mortuary students, hospice volunteers, um, uh, the general readership who may have to plan funerals. Um, I, I can't imagine anybody who, um, you know, who's mortal, who wouldn't be uh, in some way improved by reading it. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Gail.